Okay, welcome back and today we're going to make, guess what, we're going to make pants. So this is Mikey guys, say hi Mikey. Hi, hi, hi Mikey. Hi Mikey. <laughs> what color are we going to do first bro? We'll probably do green because it, like, it will be real vibrant, you'll have to see the whole effect on your type. So first you need well, your pasta, the old piece of broken pasta. Or you need a knife. And then you have to like get a plate and like a nice little paste mask so you will make a mess in your mother house. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, and then That's you just, if you live in your mother house. Yeah, live in my mother house. So yeah, and then Big you just, man <laughs> And then you just gently shave your pasta. You don't want to do it too rough because then it will get kinda chunky. So you take your time and shave. And whenever you shave the pasta, you could just basically keep it stored in something. But we'll just do a little bit today for a demonstration. So when you think it like real fine enough, and yeah, now you're ready for your binding agent. So you could use water, but then you'll have put like basically a water paint. And that wouldn't last for very long. When it started to dry, it would flake off your paper or, or, or your, your, your parchment or whatever. Yeah, so basically you want something stronger. So people can, you can either use linseed oil or you can use, in this case, we're going to use an egg. You just need basically the white from the egg. And then you mix. And this is basically it. A pretty good binder so it will last longer on your canvas. You just have to be kind of careful when you're using it with like lighter colors because it would add a, a yellow hue to your, to your paint. So if you're using it on white, it'll be a little tricky. We're gonna do a test run? We can. Yeah, I mean, we can probably. So let me just make sure it mixes properly. Okay, so now we mix in some yellow <laughs> by request. More of the pastel into the mixture. How are we doing there, Mikey? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad? Yeah, com compared to this other green. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is how you mix different hues using different pastels. Make sure I give it a good working so it would fuse properly. Okay, now time to paint. <laughs> you want to do the honors? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Dana being hired by the artist's way to paint us a tree. What do you think of the texture of the paint, though, Dana? I'm liking the texture. Mm -hmm. Never made paint before. <laughs> Pretty cool, but yeah. What do you call this technique I'm doing here? Like, like you want to see me remember? It's like what stippling? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we stippling. <laughs> Test. <laughs> so I guess the more egg white you use, the better the texture of the paint will be, right? Yeah. Such technique. I'm liking this brush. <laughs> Shout out to, um, what kind of brushes are these? I don't even know you. Typical guy. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to detail. And yeah. That's it. So that's how you make paints using pastel. Thanks, Mikey. I learned something today. And the egg. Don't forget the egg. And the egg, yeah. yeah. I am definitely going to not try this because it's too much work. It's not that much work. And it's such an easy way to make paint, yeah. So. It's really is it cheap? It's cheap too, right? Yeah. I mean, paints are expensive, so you can make your own paintings and spare pastels. Can't go wrong. So hope this is of some use to you as it's all there. And if not, 
Blame Michael. <laughs> Why Michael? Bye. <laughs>